I'm talk to you guys because it's more fun than talking to the camera. Um, <laughs> so we're going to start with uh, the bandsaw, and we'll do the sanders, and then find, finish on the table saw. Um, rule one, we're in the shop, and we're using things that move quickly and impart speed to other things, safety glasses, that kind of rule one. Um, any of these tools um, can severely damage your eyes. Um, and good idea, it's not mandatory, um, but hearing protection. Um, this is kind of loud. The other ones are pretty quiet. That's really loud. I don't know if we'll talk about that. The planer is really loud. Um, but uh, so hearing protection optional, but um, you're kind of called. Um, so what you use the bandsaw for? Um, you can cut with this blade um, plastics, wood, um, a lot of different composite materials. Um, no metal. This is capable of cutting metal, but um, we'd want to put a different blade on here. Um, so if you want to cut metal, so you know. we could ping you if we want to cut metal. Right. You'd probably have to buy the blade because I don't have the blade. But we, but this is, you know, just as that's a bandsaw, it's made for cutting metal. This can cut metal too. It's not lighter duty, but can do it. Um, and so the things you actually you know, want to do with this machine, um, it's good for cutting uh, kind of very irregular paths. So if I wanted to cut that, it'd be really hard to do on the table saw. Um, and so the bandsaw is like a perfect opportunity for that. Um, so let's do a let's do a quick demonstration of, of what the bandsaw can actually do. Um, and I'll explain all of these things that I'm doing after I make the cut. Power switch. Black is on. Red is off. is a little bit rough. It's not, it's not super fine, but um, we can clean that up with a different tool later. Um, so before you make a cut with a bandsaw, there are a couple things you have to adjust to do it. Um, this is what, 5 8 inch thick um, board, and you might have seen me lower this thing. This thing. Um, what this does is it gives the, the blade something to push up against. Um, it's got these bearing blocks on it, this thing and this thing, um, that kind of hold it from moving side to side. Um, and then this thing right here, which makes it so it doesn't, it's got something to press up against in the back, so that you're not just kind of like pushing the bandsaw blade away from you. Um, and if you have this way the hell up here, there's a lot of like flex and movement in the blade and you're going to get a much less accurate and less safe cut. So you want the, the guard to be kind of pretty much as close as possible to the, the work piece without being kind of disruptive to your cut. So quarter inch kind of above the, the work piece. And that's controlled by this little thumb screw right back here. Um, just you loosen it up, move it to where you want it, tighten it back down. Pretty simple. Um, there aren't really a whole lot of other adjustments uh, that you're going to use on a regular basis with the bandsaw to do stuff. Um, you can tilt this table um, and you like, like this um, if, you, if you want to, um, if you want mm. to make cuts at, a, at, a, mm. at an angle. Um, that's not a regular thing to do it. Um, this thing right here, there are two of them, one in the front, one in the back, loosen them up. Tilt the table how you want, tighten it back down. Um, one thing to remember is this doesn't have stops on it, so when you want to get it back to a 90 degree cut, you have to get like a, a speed square or a, just a combination square to make sure that the table is lined up to the blade again. So, but um, yeah, that's all pretty pretty simple. Um, 
and see what else. I mean, guys, if you have questions, please do jump in. Uh, what are the things that you don't do with this saw? Yeah, um, so things you don't do with this saw. Um, things you don't do with any of the tools here. Wear like big loose clothing, um, wear headphones with dangling headphone cords that are going to get sucked into a blade, and then your head will get sucked into the blade, or your body will get sucked in. Ties are a no no. Long hair. Um, ties are probably a problem for you. They're <laughs> a problem in um, ways than one. <laughs> so, something that uh, does, uh, does tend to get people's fingers removed. Uh, so, one of the things you can do on, on the band saw is you can cut. Um, cylindrical objects. Mm -hmm. um, but because it's a cylindrical object and you have a band that's moving downwards, it tries to make, um, it it tries to make the thing, the, the cylindrical object spin. And so if you're holding like a cylindrical object with your fingers like this in line with the blade, you adjust the, the guard bearing blocks. And so I'm holding this like this, trying to like steady it. And one of the teeth catches on it, and it spins the uh, the pipe and my fingers into the blade. It will just cut off your fingers, fingertips, which is very messy, and will make my saw all rusty, which I don't want. <laughs> also, you won't have fingertips, which is also kind of a bummer. Um, so you can cut cylindrical things on here, no problem. Um, it's actually quite good at. It. Uh, but just don't. The main thing is just don't put your fingers anywhere near. The main thing the is table. your fingers. On all of the cuts with the bandsaw, frankly, all of the cuts with all of these tools, um, the thing is important where your fingers are. So. so, I mean, it, it just eats right through. I mean, this is PVC. It loves PVC. Um, not a problem to cut um, cylindrical things, but when I was cutting this, I was holding it like this. So um, fingers well to the one side of the blade and fingers way far out on the other side of the blade um, and just went right through. It's not a big deal. Um, when I was cutting this, for example, um, it's, it, you can just kind of, whatever, whatever gives you the best control while you're making most of the cut um, is fine. Um, but then when I'm getting towards the end, it's, it's important to watch where your thumbs are because you have a propensity to push with your thumbs when you're using the bandsaw and the most and you're gonna get like the most power if you're pushing right in front of the blade um, <laughs> but then when the blade cuts through and your thumbs are there again you're gonna lose a tip of your finger bummer um, and so you're really just trying to keep your fingers when like when you're getting towards the end of a cut and really most of the time um, keep them away from the blade um, I mean, this thing isn't going to jump and fight. Um, so, I mean, you can get relatively close to the ba blade with um, and be pretty safe still. But it's just making sure that your fingers are out of the path of the blade, especially when you finish moving through other material. Um, so, I'll try what else? Um, uh, the bandsaw is called a bandsaw because. Um, saw blade that's welded together. So there's a weld somewhere on there that's running on these wheels. Um, so does one of the wheels move in to to take the blade on and off? I mean, do you like uh, yes, yes. There's a there's a tensioning um, there's a tensioning screw back here, um, and then there's an adjustment um, that allows you to um, kind of place the blade on the wheels. Um, you guys, if if the blade breaks, that's that's what I'm getting at. Um, this blade these blades can break. Um, especially, and they break when the machine is on, um, which is very exciting because you have a blade moving at, you know, 150 feet per second, not per second, um, moving very quickly um, at breaks and all of a sudden might shoot out of the machine, um, as it in to escape out of here or, um, it's just really exciting. If it breaks, if you're like a pop, big pop while you're, while you're using the bandsaw, um, down is a good direction to head. Um, getting your hands away from the blade um, is a good idea. Um, that's not going to happen, um, but it can happen. Um, if you, you guys should never have to take these covers off unless you 
want me to teach you specifically how to change and tension and adjust the blade, which I can do if you're interested in that. And you feel the need to switch blades a lot. Um, but it's just something to be aware of. Just the way the saw functions, you know, it's the big old snake of metal with teeth on it. Um, with the right blade, is this is this a good tool to cut metal? Um, if you've got chunks of metal you want to... Um, that depends on like the... Type of cut or... Like the gauge and the type of metal. Um, mm -hmm. You're not going to have a whole luck with pretty heavy steel. Um, like aluminum plates? Um, or this, this would eat right through like a quarter inch aluminum with the right blade on it. Okay, so if, if we wanted to do like aluminum, yes. this might be a reasonable tool. This would be with a the right blade. Right, with the, with, um, you're going to want, it'll be like, it'll be a very similar looking blade to what's on the horizontal bandsaw, which is very small teeth mm -hmm. um, with a wider back. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. What do they cost? Um, I don't actually know what the what like a blade like that might cost, but um, thirty bucks, forty. I mean, like not terribly expensive. Yeah, so um, something maybe someone could get and, and just sort of right. donate to the saw. If if there's a project that needs it, yes, I think it, it's it would be a reasonable thing to purchase. I've got three blades up there, three or four blades up there. Hmm. Um, like I've got a this is a quarter inch blade. I've got an eighth inch blade, which is just really tiny and weird, um, and I've got a half inch blade um, for doing more or less heavy duty stuff. Um, and then this is a miter gauge. Um, what it does is it sits in a track like that and uh, you can rest a work piece up against it. and. Uh, Cuts at a desired angle, um, and you can loosen this up and adjust it to be at whatever angle you're kind of interested in. Um, and so, to give you a little bit of dependability, this will work on bandsaw, table saw, and the disc sander behind you, um, and it's very useful. Yeah. Um, also, you can. This is actually really nice for cutting. Um, cylindrical objects because um, it gives you something to like actually rest and pre press against. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's pretty simple. You're holding your work, holding your work piece against the uh, against the miter gauge and then just pushing with the other hand and yeah, it keeps your fingers nice and far away from the blade, which is good. Um, this is a nice if you if you're just trying to do a straight cut, uh, that's really helpful. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's about it for the bandsaw. Uh, 